Hey YouTube, in my previous video I showed you how to remove tattoos, so in this video I'm going to show you how to add tattoos. Um, as you notice I'm not in full screen mode because I won't be able to go between two different windows, so it might be a little harder to see, but it shouldn't be too bad. So what I have brought up is just the picture I want to add the tattoo on and the tattoo that I found off the internet, says Jennifer. and um, What I'm going to do first of all to this window is I'm going to unlock this background by double clicking on the lock and it's gonna say what do you want to name it as I'm just gonna name it as background but it's just going to be unlocked so that's why it's easier to move so I'm going to take my move tool and just drag this uh, uh, tattoo thing that I want to add uh, just up to and over the bikini thing uh, window that I have and just let go and there's the image. Um, as you can see that we have this white stuff we're gonna get rid of that just by changing the blending mode to multiply and it's gone. So I'm just gonna zoom in here and I'll take my move tool again and just move it down to her lower back where I want it to be. So now as you can tell it doesn't look like it's going to be a tattoo because it's uh, perfectly horizontal. So I'm going to click Control or Command T which is going to bring up my transform tool and I can simply rotate it and make it smaller, make it bigger, um, however you want your fake tattoo to look. Just mess around with it. And then when you have it whereabout you want it, just click enter to lock in those controls that you've just done. And really, we're almost done. The next thing you want to do is just change your opacity. Um, but obviously you don't want to go too light because it'll look really bad. And uh, you don't want to go too high because it'll look really harsh. So I'm just going to keep mine around 85. Usually that's around where the tattoos usually look about rails, around 80, 85, 90. And um, if this doesn't work for you, like if it's on an arm, you're going to want to set it to the arm to make it look like it's actually on the arm. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to Edit, Transform, warp is going to bring up your warp tool and you can and you're going to want to set these uh these dots to uh the edges of the arm so it would look like it's actually on the arm <laughs> um so i'm just going to zoom out and definitely looks real i'm going to show you before after very simple and uh looks real so hope this helps and uh any requests, message or comment, and um, keep looking back at my channel because I'll be constantly adding new videos.